You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for wintergreen, Gaultheria procumbens. Wintergreen is a short shrub, more commonly viewed as an evergreen ground cover, which is native to the eastern portion of North America. In the spring, the plant's underground rhizome sends up red stalks topped with a small red knob. Closer inspection reveals this is a stalk with new leaves growing at the tip. These new leaves expand and enlarge. They change color from bright red to a reddish green. As the new leaves become larger, they turn a deep green color for the summer. Even during the summer months, new red shoots arise from the underground rhizomes, as well as from above ground branches. Let's study the leaves. They are elliptical to oblong in shape, and they may have a pointed tip. The youngest leaves show fine, dark hairs spaced along the leaf margin. When the leaf is mature, the hairs are barely noticeable, and they may even have broken off. However, there remains an indentation obvious along the not quite entire leaf edge, marking where each hair grew. The venation is pinnate, with side veins forking from the strong central vein. The evergreen leaves alternate along the short stalk. When colder weather is imminent, the leaves change color from their shiny summer green to a mottled green and burgundy. And then, during winter, to a glorious burgundy or purple red. Even during winter, wintergreen's leaves remain reflectively shiny. Flower buds develop at the ends of branches and from leaf axles, while the new leaves grow larger and greener. The next group of photos were all taken on the same day. The flower buds are in varying stages of development. Some of the leaves are turning from their winter red to summer green coloration. Two weeks later, notice the fine hairs along leaf margins. See how the flower buds grow in lengthening clusters. Look at the base of each flower bud. There's a pair of bracts along with the flower's sepals. The distinctive bell shape of the flowers becomes clear. Here's a view of the flower arrangement from above. The flower stem and its paired bracts stay a reddish green color. Meanwhile, the flower's five sepals and fused petals are white. Here's a group of bell-shaped flowers. The wintergreen flower is reminiscent of a blueberry flower or a sourwood flower. All of these plants are members of the Ericaceae family. In the unfocused foreground of this image, we can see a browning flower's petals dropping off. In the focused background, a green berry grows from a successful fertilization. Another green berry. To the left are the bracts which remain after an unfertilized flower drops from the plant. These green berries still have a dried style hanging from the bottom of each berry. The berries grow larger and begin to turn color from green to pink and from pink to red. The two bracts remain snugly attached to the berry. During mid-fall, more flowers bloom while ripe red berries hang from the plant. The four to six inch high wintergreen plant grows berries about one quarter to one third inch in diameter. The bottom of the berry may still have its central style extending beyond the five point star shape. Red wintergreen berries show brilliantly against the fall foliage which is transforming to its winter burgundy color. Let's pick one berry for a closer look. Here's the top or stem end. And here's the bottom, or style, end. Break the berry's red skin, and we find white pulp with a firmer mass at the bottom of the berry. This is where the tiny seeds reside. The berries are a delicious edible. Their flavor is wintergreen. 
The wintergreen flavor used in commercial products comes from the leaves of this plant. When the flower does not get fertilized, the flower stem and bracts turn silvery gray and brittle. They remain on the plant through winter and well into a new season of growth. Now for a quick review of wintergreen's annual cycle. During spring, leaves green up. New shoots arise from rhizomes, one method of plant reproduction, and new leaves emerge at their tips. Flower buds develop. Flower buds expand and become white bell-shaped flowers. Summer leaves are glossy green. More new shoots come from branches. Flowers mature. Berries appear. Green berries become red berries. Flower stems and bracts begin to die. Red berries appear among the green leaves. Their seeds are the second method of plant reproduction. Green leaves turn red as temperatures get colder. Evergreen leaves, which are not exactly green in color at this point in time, remain through winter's cold and snow. Wintergreen is a striking ground cover in all seasons with its variously colored leaves, its white flowers, and its edible red berries. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Gaultheria procumbens, also known as wintergreen. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of wintergreen, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.